Okay, hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to do spot welding with a super capacitor. Okay, uh, so for this, I have a 2.7 uh, volts and a 100 farad a green cap super capacitor, and I have uh, connected two uh, high high amperes copper conductors. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how I got these two conductors from. Okay, uh, and uh, what we need is a lithium ion battery to which we are going to do spot welding. Okay, so I have uh, this neurium magnet and I have stuck this battery to it uh, so, so that it keeps the battery in, in its place. And the other thing that we need is a power supply that is going, uh, that is going to charge this supercapacitor. Okay, so for this we have the 5.2 volt uh, mobile charger uh, with which I am going to charge this super capacitor okay uh, uh, one more thing okay so I have these two dragon clips and uh, since it was uh, really difficult, uh, difficult to do uh, uh, soldering uh, with this two, uh, two thick copper conductor so what I did was uh, I used uh, these dragon clips and you can see you can see that uh, to this I have placed this uh, yeah, this plastic for insulation okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this yeah, it's done, and then the other one. Okay, so it's like this. Uh, so even if it uh, it is sticking to each other, but uh, because of the plastic insulation, uh, it won't short circuit. Okay, so that's the main point. And so it's done. Now I have to do. Uh, I have, what I have to do is charge the super capacitor. It is really important that you. Uh, and, and know the polarity in which you are connecting the, the supercapacitor the mark uh, like this this is the negative sign okay so the other will automatically become positive so the positive will be this one and see the LCD screen as soon as I will connect uh, this negative the voltage will drop to the voltage of this capacitor Okay. so yeah you can see it was already charged to 2 volts and now it is picking up charge and I will disconnect it when it reaches around 2.7 volts so ok uh, it is going to charge and I have to remove it at 2.7 uh, I will remove it at 2.73 because of the voltage drop uh, it will still be around uh, 2.69 or 2.70 ok so let's measure the voltage I'm removing this, it's not needed anymore because the capacitor has already been charged let's measure the voltage stored in the capacitor see the LCD screen so it's 2.67 okay so it is almost 2.70 so it doesn't matter that much Okay, so uh, getting on with the spot welding. So with the first strip, uh, make sure that it is uh, straight. Okay, now watch the way it is to be done. Keep one point like this and the other here, and then stick it to. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, the spot welding is perfect, and uh, and you should uh, know that the capacitor is only a hundred farad capacitor, and you don't uh, actually need a five hundred farad because uh, it performs um, yeah, perfectly. Even though it is a hundred, uh, it is just a hundred fat capacitor. Okay, so now the front. Okay, go. Okay, so we are done. Okay, so yeah, it's like this. You can see the weld is strong. And small welding is strong enough, and. Uh, and it should do the job pretty good 
So yeah. Now let us uh, let's see the voltage that is still left in the capacitor mm, after the short circuiting. Okay. It is still 1.98 volts. That is around 2 volts. Uh, so if you want, you can still uh, do you know, further weldings. Okay. So just to sh uh, just for the demonstration, I'm going to operate this supercapacitor as a battery. And this is a 55 watt uh, motorbike bulb. Okay. So you can see it is lighting up, and it will um, yeah, and it will operate for a few minutes, and after which it will discharge. Yeah, it will take a long time because this capacitor is a, is a 100 farad capacitor with a maximum current producing capability of uh, around 50 amperes. So it will take a long time to discharge this capacitor. And make sure that you discharge this capacitor uh, completely because uh, it uh, creates high temperatures uh, uh, during small welding. Just for demonstration I am going to uh, show you the, the level of temperature generated. Okay, so this is the one terminal. I'm going to touch the other terminal. You can see. Yeah, it is really high. Uh, it becomes really hot. Uh, don't forget to wear gloves, otherwise, uh, you know what will happen. So, uh, no, that would not be all. There is one more thing that is left. Yeah, uh, that I that I told you in the beginning that where I got these uh, these two high ampere copper conductors from okay so we got it from is this single phase small uh, single phase small induction motor okay you can see these copper uh, these copper rods and these uh, if you have small single phase induction motor that is not working or uh, or it is uh, of no use to you even though it is working you can get it and get it out and use it for spot welding because, uh, because I saw many videos on YouTube um, about spot welding, but I didn't uh, get any information about uh, the place from where I can get these thick copper conductors from. So that is an important information for you. So okay, thank you. thanks a lot for watching this video. Thank you so much. Okay, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.